Alright, I'm here to talk about the ending of Alice in Borderland. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the second season, probably click through this. Alright. I'm sure most of you know uh, Moist Critical, Charlie. He just released a video talking about how anime endings are trash. They don't live up to the expectation. And I just wanted to talk about something near and dear to me, you know. Alice in Borderland, I love the show. Uh, I know there's a graphic novel it's based off of, which I haven't got my hands on yet. Need to get the Magna, Magna, Mag, Manga, Manga. <clears throat> Need to get the Magna for that. But I've sat around and wasted my life away waiting for the second season to come out. I was like a little kid on Halloween. I just needed to get out and get some candy, like... I wanted it to come out so bad. I would have done anything. I would have promoted crypto on my Twitch. I just have been waiting for the second season for so long, and I was so sorely disappointed by the ending of it, of Alice in Borderland, that I wanted to blow my brains out. The ending, for anyone who hasn't seen it and wants to know, let me give a little recap here. They sit through the last game that they've been playing, and it's the Queen of Hearts, which I knew it was going to be the Queen of Hearts, because that's the whole thing. She's like the head mistress lady. It's the, the lady who pops up at the end of season one, and is like, the games are about to really begin now. And she tries to trick Harisu into giving up, and um, Usagi saves him and like cuts her wrist to like, snap them out of it. Anyway, she gives up a bunch of made-up endings, and the reason I'm upset is because I feel like those would have been better explanations than a meteor hitting wherever they're at. I think it's in Japan, and, like, they all get knocked out, and they're, like, I guess the theory is in between life and death, you know, they're in the borderlands. That's what his, like, brother says it then. He says, like, you were in the borderland for a second, like, you were dead. And his, like, fight, you know, his braveness and perseverance, which I think he wasn't brave. He was kind of like a little scared child whose mom left and the cashier scanning the stuff too fast. He's like, I don't got any money. You know, like, that's him the whole show. He could have saved 20 people's life if he would have just shot his gun one time, you know? I, anyway, whatever. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the ending. First point that made me upset they don't remember anything. Like, I understand it's like the afterlife or in between or whatever, even if that is if that is the real case. But, like, they have no recollection of anybody they've met or any action they performed. It's like it never even happened. That's why I'm so upset. It's just like, it was almost worthless in their life. Like, yeah, they kind of, like, start to meet when they're back at the hospital, blah, blah, blah. But, like, realistically, those connections they made with each other are worthless. They don't matter. Second reason I'm upset, all these people, like, I don't want to see any of the main characters that I've, like, gotten to love actually die, but sometimes it makes the show a little bit more exciting when, like, some of the main characters start to die off. So at the end, when they're fighting the King of Spades before they take on the Queen of Hearts, you see, like, some of the main characters get killed by the King of Spades. Like, one of the girls gets stabbed in the chest and the side. One of the other girls gets shot. The other dude gets, like, shot in the side of the head. Like, it's pretty graphic stuff out there. I'm like, oh my gosh, they're just killing everybody. It was crazy. It kind of hyped me up. Like, I was like, I can't wait to see how they make this, like, end, you know? And then they're all still alive. Like, no one died within the hour or two they were, like, there. Like, it went from light outside to dark outside. The sun had to go down. It took at least an hour. Like, they didn't even bleed out? I don't know. That's not, like, one of the big points why I'm upset about it, but that is a little upsetting, you know? And then, like, finally, the I guess the the main reason I'm upset is because it felt like... I know it's based off a graphic novel, but the ending just seems so, like, 
rushed. They're like, oh, we had our good endings. We gave those. They were fake. So let's make up a trash one where everybody forgets everything and it's like nothing ever happened. Uh, that's about it. It just it really made me upset. Uh, let me know in the comments how you felt, if you liked it or disliked it. I could understand why you would like it. Did wrap most things up, but it left a lot of things to be questioned. So let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the video. It'd be awesome if you subscribed. Uh, thanks, guys. And check out my Twitch, by the way. All right. Bye-bye.